Thomas and Friends, Misty Island Rescue by Reverend Audrey. Thomas and Percy were helping to build a new search and rescue center on the island of Sodor. There was much work to do. It will be made of the strongest wood of all jobby wood, said Sir Topham Hatt. The wood will arrive today at Brendam Docks. Diesel tried to move the logs by himself and had a terrible accident. Luckily, Thomas saved Diesel, but the logs fell into the sea. Sir Topham Hatt was proud of Thomas. He asked Thomas to travel to the mainland and bring back more jobby wood. Percy was worried that the trip would be dangerous. A steamboat pulled Thomas on a raft toward the mainland. Far out at sea, Thomas heard a loud crack. Fizzling fireboxes, he peeped. The chain to the steamboat had snapped. The next morning, Thomas found himself on a strange island. It was very misty. He peeped hello, but nobody answered, so he went exploring. Suddenly, Thomas came fender to fender with three strange engines. Their names were Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand, and they called themselves the Logging Locos. Bash told Thomas he was on Misty Island. Meanwhile, everyone on Sodor was looking for Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt and Captain raced out to sea. Percy searched every track. Harold took to the sky. Back on Misty Island, Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand showed Thomas where they lived. It was an old logging camp filled with winding tracks and rickety cabins. Thomas made an amazing discovery. This camp is filled with jobby wood, he peeped. That's the wood we need to build the search and rescue center. Thomas told the logging locos all about the rescue center. They agreed to help him collect the logs. But the logging locos didn't like working. They just wanted to play games and bounce on Shake Shake Bridge. Thomas definitely did not like the wibbly wobbly bridge. Old Wheezy the giant log loader wasn't much help either. He liked to throw logs, not stack them. After much biffing and bashing, Thomas had flatbeds full of jobby logs, but he didn't know how to get back to Sodor. Bash told him about an old tunnel that connected Misty Island to Sodor, pushing their flatbeds Full of logs, the engines reached the old tunnel. It was cold and dark. The logging locos were scared. Don't worry, Pete Thomas. With a whir and a whiff, we'll be on the island of Sodor. Suddenly, with a rumble and a crash, there was a cave-in. Rocks tumbled down around the engines. They were trapped, and no one knew where they were. Thomas saw a hole in the roof of the tunnel. He sent up puffs of steam. Thomas hoped someone would see the puffs and come to the rescue. Somebody did see the puffs. Percy! It's Thomas! Percy peeped excitedly. He's on Misty Island and he needs help. Whiff told Percy about an old tunnel that led to Misty Island. Percy knew it would be dangerous, but it was the fastest way to save Thomas. Percy raced through the tunnel. It was dark and twisty. At last, he found the cave-in. Watch out, Thomas, Percy puffed. I'm going to push back the rocks. Percy rocked and rolled and pumped his pistons. Crash! Percy broke through the boulders. 
Thomas and the logging locos were saved. Sir Topham Hat was very happy that Thomas and his new friends were safe. And with all the new job he would, the rescue center would be finished very soon. Today is a special day made possible by very special engines, Sir Topham Hatt said at the opening of the search and rescue center. The people cheered. The engines all peeped. Thomas's pistons pumped with pride.